Hi everybody, my name is Ryan DeYoung and today I'm going to teach you how to start an R44 Cadet. Alright, now that our interior check and exterior final check has been completed, we'll move to before starting engine. The seat belt is fastened, our fuel shutoff valve is on, our cyclic and collective friction is off, and now we're checking our cyclic, collective, and pedals to make sure they're full travel free. Our throttle is full travel free, our collective full down, and now our friction is on. The rotor brake is disengaged. Circuit breakers are in. Our carb heat is off. Looking at our mixture, we're going full rich which means all the way down. We put our mixture guard back installed, making sure our landing light is off, our avionics switch is off, our clutch is disengaged, our altimeter is set, and our hydraulic and governor switches are on. We're going to twist the throttle a couple of times to prime it. Now we're going to double check and make sure our throttle is closed. Now we're going to yell clear and make sure the area around the helicopter is clear. Clear! The battery and strobe switches are on. Ignition switch, start, and then both. Engine is started. Set engine RPM 50 to 60%. Clutch switch engaged. Blades are turning in less than five seconds. Alternator switch and timer on. We have oil pressure within 30 seconds, up to a minimum of 25 PSI. Avionics on. Double checking to make sure our circuit breakers are in. Checking our compass to make sure it's aligned with our directional gyro. Looking at our gauges, I'll read zero. Setting the altimeter to the local altimeter setting. We'll get the actual altimeter setting when we listen to Cedar City ASOS. Looking at our carb heat gauge. Over to our RPMs. Down to our manifold pressure gauge. The rest of our gauges all reading good and correct. Our attitude indicators level. Everything's reading straight. Our airspeed is zero. Adjusting our map screen and flipping it to the ADSB page. Checking our local radio frequencies. Checking our weather on the ASOS, which is the automated surface observation system here in Cedar City. And the transponder is turned on, reading altitude and squawking 1200. Clutch light is out. Warm up RPM 60 to 70 percent. Now that engine gauges are green, we'll do a mag drop check at 75 percent RPM. We're going to switch the key to the right mag and check for a 7 percent max drop in two seconds. Then back to both. Now checking the left mag, looking for that 7% max drop in two seconds. On our Sprag clutch check, we're going to quickly roll the throttle off, looking for our needles to split. Carb heat check, looking for a rise and a drop as we pull it up. With the weather being colder today, we'll leave that carb heat up. Looking at our limit map chart, we're looking at our maximum continuous power for today's temperature, as well as our max takeoff power or our five minute power. Next, we'll look at our never exceed speed. It's 
cyclic and collective friction are off, time to check our hydraulic system. The hydraulic system switch is off. A small little X pattern to make sure the controls work smoothly with the hydraulics off. A nice pull on the collective. It's going to be hard up, easy down. Our hydraulic switch is back on and we confirm the hydraulics work with the same movements with the cyclic and a smooth, easy pull on the collective. Increasing throttle up to 80%. At that point, the governor will take over and take it up to 101 to 102%. Warning lights are out. Lift collective slightly. Reduce RPM, looking for the horn and light at 97%. Before takeoff, our RPMs are at 101 to 102%. The area is clear, right, center, and left. All caution lights are out. Our engine gauges are green. All gauges are reading correctly. And adequate fuel for the flight. Time to pick up. That is how you start an R44 Cadet. We'll have new videos coming out soon, including how to maneuver the helicopter. So keep an eye out for those, and thanks for watching.